Hi everyone, this is Chaitanya Puri. We all understand that success is a combination of having a strong mindset and sheer hard work. But there's another very crucial element that decides whether we'll actually attain success or not. And that's the creation of a favorable environment. Now this is not environment in the sense of the mountains or beaches or rivers around us but rather the conditions and people we surround ourselves with. So today I want to talk to you about how we could consciously choose a favorable environment for our success. It's necessary for us to recognize which environments help us and which don't. Our environments will either push us towards our goals or pull us away from them. There are certain examples that I'm sure you all could relate to. Say if you have a sweet tooth, you standing in an ice cream parlor will be very, very difficult for you to resist having an ice cream. If you want to quit smoking, don't hang around a chain smoker. If you want to lose weight, go to a group class in a gym rather than doing it individually. If you want to study somewhere with where, which requires better concentration, go to a library. You'll, you'll tend to concentrate better there. Uh, if you want to avoid shopping, don't go to a mall. There'll be, there'll be so many examples where, you know, the environment either pushes us or pulls us away from our goal. So the question is, how do we ensure that we have the perfect environment for ourselves? Well, there are five steps I want to suggest for this. The first one, you're the average of the five people you spend most time with. Now, this is something that we've all heard thousands of times. I cannot overemphasize how important this is. Having people around you who motivate you, inspire you, support you and want to see a better version of you uh, is extremely important. So you would notice that people who spend their time around negative personalities tend to absorb their neg negativities as well. If you hang around friends and colleagues who are lazy, pessimistic, demotivated, don't be surprised when you start feeling the same things. So therefore find people who are like mentors, even gym buddies, working colleagues who are hardworking, anybody who can help you become a better version of yourself. The second step, identify focus zones. Now, physically identifying physical focus zones or spaces that help you concentrate better. So for work goals, uh, ensure that you're sitting in a physical space where there are least number of distractions and you can concentrate much better. If you wish to lose weight, join a group class in a gym. Why are offices created? Why does everybody not work from home? Because within an office surrounding, people are given their focus zones. Could be their desks, their cabins, their own separate areas, right? So similarly, for every task that you need to do, you need to dedicate a focused zone which is the only place where you will do that task. You need to specifically assign a place for that. So the minute you walk into that physical space, your mind associates that place with focused work. The third step, fairly simple to understand, is eliminate negative influences. There will always be people who will try and dissuade you from doing more, who will always try and uh, demotivate you, create distractions for you in your life, ensure that those influences are weeded out of your life. You do not need them for your goal. They will only slow you down. So you ensure that you eliminate negative influences. The fourth step is schedule time for work. Now, I remember when I was in school, we had a daily timetable. The timetable basically told us which all subjects we had to study that day and in which order. Now that provided structure for our school days. When you, when you schedule your work by breaking it down into smaller actionables, smaller tasks, it will become easier to follow that structure, right? You will know exactly how much time to spend on each activity that will ensure an, an environment of continuity for you. It will make you uh, more susceptible to work. It will create a conducive environment for you, all right? Now, the fifth step is to create accountability. Personally, this is something that really, really helps me. If you feel you're not able to maintain an environment uh, conducive for your growth, get other people involved in your journey. It could be people who are following the same path or people who've already done it, right? This helps create solid accountability 
and when we feel answerable to people we push ourselves to do much more than what we would have ordinarily done because our reputation is at stake all right now the good news is that the discipline required towards your environment regulation will not be the same at every stage meaning that the initial discipline uh, will be much more than the later discipline once you get used to how to create a favorable environment it will get easier for you to do that so ensure that the environment is conducive for your growth and only then will you be able to achieve success so remember the five steps that we discussed and create a favorable environment for your growth i hope this helps all the best